board. Could you all please rise for a pledge of allegiance? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. here tonight to do the invocation. Am I mistaken on that? Okay, then we'll move right along uh, to our uh, public hearing on the tax increment financing for District 6. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to open the hearing. Okay. Uh, roll call, please. Trustee Blue? Yes. Trustee Moore? Yes. Trustee Holston? Yes. Trustee Gray? Trustee Racing? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, at this point I'll turn it over to Larry. Uh, thank you, Larry. Uh, tonight we're going to have a public hearing for proposed tip number six. The notice was published pursuant to uh, state law. We also published the notice in the local newspaper. It was published outside on the board. Mr. Tesco, I'm sorry, Mr. Ielsa is here tonight from Tesco and Associates. Uh, Pete did our study. Uh, he's done our studies before in the past, well versed in the uh, village of Moline, he's been very, very helpful in the past. So tonight the public has input. If there's any questions after Pete makes his uh, presentation, uh, that's the purpose of tonight's meeting to get public input. So if it's okay with the board, Pete can give a brief presentation on tip number six. Good evening, everyone. I'll be very uh, quick, let you get to your meeting. This is uh, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, uh, as Larry said, we're here for the uh, for a public hearing for the proposed TIF number six. Um, I see a couple of new faces here, so maybe not everyone was here when the village just recently did TIF number five. Uh, I'm sure some of you are probably thinking we just did all this TIF stuff. What, what is this guy doing here again? Um, the reason we're here tonight for the public for this public hearing uh, is, uh, as you'll recall, we, we just the, the village just approved TIF number five. The intention of which was to dis basically to dissolve all of the existing TIFs within the village. That was four existing TIFs to dissolve all those TIFs and put all those parcels into a new TIF to create that new TIF. That was the intent of TIF number five. Um, Unfortunately, during that process, we discovered that one parcel uh, we left out. Um, it was basically a map error. The line was drawn in the wrong place. There was one parcel that was in TIF number four, I believe. Um, it, was, it was in that in that TIF for approximately nine or ten years. But when we created the new TIF, we dissolved it, and then we never put that piece back in. Um, which has become quite a hardship for the property owner who has been marketing his property as within a tip. And we kind of pulled the rug out from under. Uh, for those of you who don't know exactly where I'm talking about, this was one of the exhibits from the uh, previous. I'll show the public here if anyone is interested. This blue here, what the, or it's tip number three that I was This was the original tip number three. All of these parcels were removed, put into the new tip number five. This parcel right here, it's uh, on one Manhattan Road, just north of, uh, uh, just adjacent to the highway. There was a vacant, like a landscaping business that was there. Uh, they basically park the property is vacant now. Um, that TIF, uh, that parcel was in the TIF. It was intended to go in TIF number five. It was just a mistake that it was left out. The purpose of this TIF number six is just to correct that error. Um, so we had originally discussed with public. <coughs> just one piece of property we're talking about right here. Here's Moni Manhattan Road, and here's the highway. Uh, and here is this property that we're talking about. Again, it's like a landscaping business. It's, uh, it's got a couple of vacant buildings and then a big area where they were growing like trees and shrubs and stuff. Um, it's vacant now, there's nothing going on. Uh, and again, uh, it, we kind of created a hardship for the property owner when we took the TIF out from under. So that's, that's really the only reason that we're here tonight 
is to correct, correct that error. When we originally caught the mistake, um, we had discussed um, amending that tip number five to put it in tip number five that would involve significant more notices to go out to everyone that was a very large tip. We would have had to notice everybody on that. Uh, so we just went ahead and created the new tip to uh, correct that error. Um, and then just to touch on uh, Larry, just for the record, uh, not only all the, the notices that you mentioned, we also uh, held the Joint Review Board. We noticed all of the taxing districts, the school district, the park district, everybody was notified. We had a meeting, uh, everybody understood what happened, what, what the village was attempting to do here. Uh, they fully unanimously recommend uh, that this body approve the TIF. Um, and we also noticed the Illinois Department of Commerce. Uh, so all the notices were done properly. Um, this is just a public hearing to present it to you to let you know what's going on. Uh, if you have any questions from you or from the public, we're not expecting uh, any, actually you can't vote on it tonight. Um, this is just a hearing to uh, explore the issue. As soon as you could take action is 14 days from this hearing, uh, with up to 90 days when you can take action. So I'm not asking you to do anything tonight, just presenting it to you, uh, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. I just have a comment I would like to make for the public. Uh, Creating TIF six, 6, what it did for us, we had some people that may be interested in doing something with that TIF. But if we would have kept it in 5, we could have possibly upset some people in that TIF and it would have taken twice as long to do that rather than creating a, a new TIF. So it made everyone happy, including the interested parties. I think that's fairly Correct, is it not? Yeah, that's 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 fairly accurate. As well as it, it uh, the, the main reason would have just been um, when you create a tip, you have to send a certified letter to all yes. property owners. There was quite a few properties within tip number five, and that would have been a, a significant expense to the village uh, to notice all of those people for something that really is not going to affect them. Um, but we did; everything was published properly in the newspaper, so that public was notified. Uh, it just saved you guys some expenses on sending all those certified letters out. Thank you. Is there any uh, questions from the public on this? If not, I'd like a motion to close the hearing. I'll make that motion. Second. Okay. Roll call, please. Trustee Gray? Yes. Trustee Holston? Yes. Trustee Horn? Yes. Trustee Rasick? Yes. Trustee Vincent? Yes. And Trustee Poop? Yes. Okay, at this point, uh, the meeting is to roll call, please. Trustee Holston? Here. Trustee Horn? Here. Trustee Racer? Present. Trustee Vincent? Here. Trustee Blue? Here. And Trustee Gray? Here. Okay, our next order of business would be uh, if I could ask the uh, officers we're going to appoint tonight to step forward, please, so our clerk could swear you in. These are uh, part-time positions. Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will, fair, I will faithfully discharge the duties 
and I will faithfully discharge duties. As police officer. As police officer. For the village of Moline. For the village of Moline. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Lawrence Dow. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. As a police officer for the village of Moline. As a police officer for the village of Moline. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Okay. That's good. Okay, at this time I would like to open this to the public. Agenda items only, please. Anyone that wants to uh, ask a question or make a comment, please step forward. Thank you very much. I'll move on to the consent agenda. I need a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Roll call, please. Trustee Horn? Yes. Trustee Racing? Yes. Trustee Vincent? Yes. Trustee Blue? Yes. Trustee Gray? Yes. Trustee Holston? Yes. Thank you all very much. Well, we will now move on to the clerk's report. Nisha? Hello. On the report I have, I just wanted to commend everyone on an awesome job for the fall fair that we just had. Um, Diana Crow, as well as the trustees and the mayor. It was awesome. I've heard, had a lot of great um, reviews from people, as well as other inputs. So just wanted to tell everyone, great job. And with that in mind, uh, Diane, I'd like you to step forward if you don't mind. And uh, we're, we're all very excited about the fall fest. It, uh, I think it broke some records. I will say no more about it. We're glad to have uh, our new employee on the team. And Diane, you go right ahead. Uh, Fall Fest was, um, from what I heard, very um, amazing. According to the Carnival um, Company Alpine, it broke records. And I think a lot of it had to do with the weather. And um, our bands were amazing. Everybody came out. Um, it was great to see all of the trustees, every single one of them out there, and our mayor, um, out there helping every step of the way. Um, and their extended families, grandkids, my family was out there, um, you know, husbands, wives, everybody was out there having a great time. Uh, food vendors did amazing. Uh, Department of Public works did a lot of work set up uh, stayed late got there early there wasn't a piece of garbage to be seen anywhere everybody did a really great job and the community came out and um, had a great time thank you very much diana i just want to say it was record breaking i want you to know that uh, the vendor lines were huge the rides broke a record on the amount of tickets sold and armbands and every other thing. Uh, it, it really was spectacular for uh, being thrown into that with just a little bit of time. Uh, kudos to you and Mary Jo for helping out. Everybody helped out. It was wonderful. Anthony, you want to say you want to put more cars and we're going to have to have a bigger village. 
for that. But uh, it was wonderful. Thanks, Diane. Okay. Okay, and uh, we're in the mayor's report. Uh, at this time, we want to reaffirm the appointment of David Wallace as village administrator. Uh, Mary, I'll turn it over to you. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, we received a uh, request for review by an individual as to the May 10th meeting. Uh, the Attorney General had reviewed our record. Uh, what she has asked us to do, or the office, is to reaffirm uh, Dave Wallace as village administrator at the May 10th meeting. Uh, I believe we said we'll possibly appoint the village administrator, but we did not name that person individually. Uh, I have a copy of the response from the Attorney General, if anybody wants to take a look at it. But she has asked us, and she's closed this file, by the way, she has asked that the village reaffirm the uh, appointment of Mr. Wallace as village administrator. So with that in mind, I, I would say, uh, we need a motion on this story? I'll make the motion. Okay, go. Janet, any discussion on the motion? If not, roll call, please. Trustee Racer? Mm. Yes. Trustee Vincent? Yes. Trustee Blue? Yes. Trustee Gray? Yes. Trustee Holston? Yes. Trustee Horn? Yes. Okay, thank you all. Uh, we will move on now to uh, administrator's report. David? Thank you, Mayor and the Board of Trustees, for the uh, vote of, of confidence there. I'd like to start my report off with item H1, which is Egyptian Trail Water Main Project. Uh, this is an MJ Underground pay request number five, um, and this has to do with the cost overruns that did occur uh, as a result of that project. All of these uh, uh, supporting documentations that have been submitted to our engineers who are on the job on our behalf, which was Farnsworth Engineering Group. And uh, they have vetted those costs and have uh, suggested uh, that we approve these uh, overrun costs as indicated. And uh, the one uh, part that I would like to draw your attention to is on the change order summary on pay request number five on the left side you can see that there are some liquidated damages on there for certain things that have taken place. Um, not completing the project on time, uh, there was a, uh, there was a liquidated damages for that. There was a U.S. pipe issue which has to do with uh, some uh, faulty product. And then there was uh, adjustments uh, made in the quantities for the extras that were requested on that job. So that was, uh, those quantities were adjusted down. So the amount of this payment, as indicated on the uh, sheet, uh, is $179,100. That is for equipment, time, and materials, and that has been validated by the engineers. Uh, our action requested is a, a motion uh, to uh, pay request number five for m and Any discussion on that? I'll make the motion first. Second. Anthony? Roll call, please. Discussion? Sir? I have discussion. I want to make a motion first. Just a quick question. Have we reviewed this with uh, MJ now? Are they in agreement too? Yes, sir, we have. Uh, I, I, thank you for bringing that up. We have had uh, both with Farnsworth Engineering and MJ Underground, we have had. Uh, several meetings with each, uh, a couple of those separately, and then joint meetings in order to uh, validate the process. And so everyone is in agreement. And as a result of that agreement, there will be a hold harmless uh, agreement signed by all parties involved. Other question, uh, if I remember right, there were some issues with older drawings during this work. Uh, is MJ going to provide new drawings of underground work being done that was done? I'm uh, not familiar with old drawings, but we will have uh, provided. There was a lack of drawings. Okay, by our engineers, uh, there will be a, a set of as built drawings um, done and provided to the village. Thank you. Yes, sir. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Trustee Blue? Yes. Trustee Gray? Yes. Trustee Holston? Yes. Trustee Horn? Yes. Trustee Racy? 
Yes. Trustee Vincent? Yes. Thank you. Item H2 on the agenda is, again, the Egyptian Trail Water Main Project. This is a MNJ payout request number six, and this would be the final payout. Um, what this uh, basically, uh, trans how this transpires is through all of the payouts through the given project, the stated project here, there has been a retainage amount of 10% of all of the payouts including the payout request you just approved, number five. What this final payout request is, is for the um, payout and release of all the retainage amounts that were held. And again, this has been reviewed and signed off by the engineers and is recommended to be paid. Our request is that you would approve that payment. The amount of that uh, payment is um, $111,788.11. And a motion for that, please. I'll make a motion. A second that. Any discussion on the motion? If not, roll call, please. Trustee Blue? Yes. Trustee Gray? Yes. Trustee Holstein? Yes. Trustee Horn? Yes. Trustee Racic? Yes. Trustee Vincent? Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, item H3 uh, in your packet is again the Egyptian Trail Water Main Project. Uh, this has to do with Farnsworth Group Engineering invoice number 185332. And uh, basically this is the remaining amounts uh, that Farnsworth Engineering is due um, for the uh, contracted and overage, over contract amounts for the uh, Egyptian uh, Trail Water Main Project. This would, uh, uh, this is part of what they had, had um, uh, reviewed. This is what we're paying for is the review of the previous m and uh, payout requests as well. So uh, this is a Farnsworth request in the amount of 36,722.50. Our request is that you would uh, uh, approve payment of this amount. Can I please have a motion on that? So moved. Second. 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 Any discussion on that? If not, roll call please. Trustee Gray? Yes. Trustee Holston? Yes. Trustee Horn? Yes. Trustee Racic? Yes. Trustee Benson? Yes. Trustee Blue? Yes. Item H4 is the Egyptian Water Main uh, Project, Egyptian Trail Water Main Project. The Farnsworth Group, this is for a final invoice 184404 in the amount of $8,062.50. And uh, this has to do with engineering uh, that was uh, provided for um, uh, water main that needed to be reinstalled. Uh, additionally, they removed it from their original bill and moved it to this uh, so that we could better track it as a warranty payment that even though the old pipe had to be removed, new pipe had to be put in, it was over, overseen by our engineers and that is the fee for that. So it was deducted out of the original amount and put back in here when they actually made that change of warranty material, and so yeah, with that being said, I would like to, I would request the uh, uh, board authorized payment, final payment to uh, Farnsworth Engineering Group in the amount of eight thousand sixty-two dollars and fifty cents. Any discussion on this? Motion. I'm, I'll make a motion. Second. Now discussion. Um, you said this was under warranty, or then do we go back to somebody else and make a deduction? Uh, what, yes, sir. What has happened is we pulled the uh, the eight thousand dollars out originally, and this is put back in. So it's a wash for us as it was originally installed, and the warranty uh, amount has now all been pushed to M and J because they have to file that warranty because they were the supplier of the product. And just so the trustees know, there was some pipe that came from the company that supplied it, which 
interior cracks in it. So this had to be removed, new pipe put in, so there was labor, engineering, everything involved in that. So all that money is being recouped by uh, the company that's paying for any, any damages from it. So that, that's what this is all about. Any other uh, discussion on the motion? If not, we call for the vote, please. Trustee Holston? Yes. Trustee Horn? Yes. Trustee Racet? Yes. Trustee Benson? Yes. Trustee Blue? Yes. Trustee Gray? Yes. Thank you very much. Item H5 on the agenda has to do with the uh, proposed court lease uh, for the Village Hall here and uh, the uh, 12th, 12th Judicial Circuit Court. Uh, and um, this has been sent out and several of the trustees, or at least I should say Trustee Vincent uh, brought to my attention uh, some of her concerns and thought that it was uh, best that I uh, forward uh, the answers to all the trustees. That has been done. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, we have presented this to the board and are looking for some direction that you would like us to take at this point. May I, may I say to that, I would like to see our team, which would be uh, <coughs> the building committee and the finance committee, to have a joint meeting if they wish, or separate meetings on this uh, court lease. There are, there's a lot of underlying things you need to be aware of, and the trustees need to be aware of, to decide whether we really want to do this. Uh, Mr. Mayor, Finance Committee will take it first. I'm just uh, stating that I think both both committees would be involved in this. Okay. I would like I would like to make a motion to table this so that all of us can have a look at this and be sure that we're all on the same page. And is it good for the village or is it bad for the village? Because if you read this, there's a lot of underlying, like you say, underlying and a lot of I'll say overtime for village officials, especially when we come to the summertime, for our officers, which we already know are putting a lot of overtime in, with vacations, um, fest, injuries. So I will, I would like to make a motion to table this for further discussion. Uh, I'll start to Gray. Uh, let me say that we're not here to uh, make a motion on this. We're here to, go ahead. We're here to uh, put this before you, put it in committee. We can all go to committee meetings and listen to what's going on, or we can have a, a meeting of the whole. I think the two committees, uh, they have meetings on this. They can decide, you know, let us make us aware of all the underlying things. There are underlying charges that uh, have to be talked about and figured out, may I say. They have an amount of money they want to give us. Uh, very questionable whether it's anywhere near enough and if we really want to do it. It, uh, it hinders our ball here. <laughs> I'm not going to go into every detail, but these are the things we're talking about. We may have business we need to do and they're going to have court. Well, guess what? And we're out. So that's, that's one of many. Let me say that. Okay. I don't want to get into a long discussion about it. I think we should do this through committee instead of and we and basically we are tabling it then, Trustee Gray. No, I'm looking at Larry. I'm just waiting for uh, for you to sure. Go ahead. Larry. May it be appropriate, Mayor, that some of the board and yourself would be to table it, and then, uh, assuming the motion passes, then direct the uh, committee to take it with the okay. finance first, and then. Very good. Okay. Okay, Mr. Gray has made a motion to table this. Is there a second? I do. Second. Any other discussion on it? Can't have discussion on the table. You have to vote. What was that? You vote. You cannot have yeah, discussion yeah. on the yeah. table. We have to vote. Oh, okay. All right. Roll call, please. Trustee Horn. Yes. Trustee Racing. Yes. Trustee Benson. Yes. Trustee Blue. Yes. Trustee Gray. Yes. Trustee Holston. Yes. Okay. So, uh, just the. Uh, a couple of additional comments, I'll keep it uh, short. Um, I did read in, an, in the Illinois Municipal League uh, in the review magazine that they have that uh, there are communities uh, in the south suburbs here that are now considering roundabouts 
as uh, as a possible solution to not only some of their uh, traffic flows but also um, uh, aesthetic to provide some aesthetic values for neighborhoods and I just wanted to make that uh, mention that because uh, Moni seems to be uh, certainly ahead of the curve there ours is uh, is being planned and, or has been planned and is being installed as we speak um, the other item is our Eastcom uh, consolidation uh, for dispatching services for police and fire and um, I sit on the Eastcom uh, Board of Directors as a representative of the Village of Moni and um, I wish I had a report that had everything smooth sailing uh, it is not at this point um, uh, we are working with the uh, new executive board of the uh, Consolidated Dispatch Center, which will be housed uh, out in Joliet on, on Laraway Road. Um, we're working on, on some of the issues that, uh, that remain with our current dispatch center as we approach the, the uh, tentative switchover date, which happens to be, uh, uh, if it hasn't changed, uh, mid-December at this point. So. Um, uh, operations are still uh, ongoing and everything is fine and calls are being answered and police are being dispatched but uh, there is a, it is a little bit time consuming on our end from time to time in attendance of these meetings and also addressing some of those current problems just want to keep the board uh, and public up to date on that uh, two other things uh, the um, Illinois the municipal code has been updated online so all of our codes have been codified and it can be found at uh, sterlingcodifiers.com and you can get to uh, State of Illinois in the Village of Moni and um, research the codes to your heart's content. And last but not least uh, is uh, Superintendent Crizel and myself had an opportunity to meet with the Homeowners Association President of Derby Meadows. and. Um, at some point, uh, we will be forwarding a presentation to the board. Uh, the desire of the homeowners association of that private subdivision is that is the uh, that the village would take over the infrastructure uh, having to do that serves that uh, that uh, private subdivision, and therefore would make it uh, public infrastructure. Um, we did uh, offer some guidance uh, uh, to the uh, uh, HOA president, and there is certainly some work to be done on their part, but I wanted to give the uh, board a heads up uh, so that when this uh, presentation does come forward, you have some knowledge of what it's about. And with that, uh, Mayor and Board of Trustees, I would uh, conclude my report. Thank you. Okay, we'll move on to uh, officials' report, public works. Trustee Gray. I have no report tonight. Okay. Uh, Parks and Recs. Mary Jo Vincent. Um, I too would like to thank Diana for the job that she did for FAWFES. It was really great. Um, beside doing FAWFES, she had to do the newsletter that she got out and she had other programs that she was doing. Um, one of the things that she has for the teenagers is the Great American Fright Fest. On um, Saturday, July 21st, she's going to be taking up to 14 kids to Fright Fest. So that's going to be a fun time for our teens. And then I do want to thank everybody, um, uh, Michelle and Bill, for doing the beer garden and the dress bags for tickets. And everybody was out there, Jill, DJ. It was just, every time you looked, you saw somebody different. So it was really a community event. So thank you. End of report. Finance, uh, Trustee Olson. Uh, three things. So, the Finance Committee will be working on travel reimbursement ordinance uh, that we'll be presenting to the board at a later date. Uh, finance Director uh, Daryl Walner is uh, attending the Illinois Governor Finance, uh, Illinois Government Finance Training from Saturday through Tuesday this week in advance of the Illinois Municipal Meeting that most of us are going to next week. And um, we are finished with the annual audit. We expect the report to be done by the end of this week. Uh, we're not aware of any major issues with relate to that report and report. Thank you very much, Trustee Wilson. We'll move on to the economic development, Trustee Blue. Thank you, Mayor. Um, the um, overall interest in money development is still very high. Uh, Kevin Daly, our Director of Economic Development, is very busy attending many um, 
events to promote and obviously to get ideas for, for our village. Um, some of the areas he's going to is, is attending the International Counseling of Shopping Centres. Uh, I believe that's in Chicago. Yes. That and um, also Will County uh, CED uh, to talk about the economic report on industrial real estate and a luncheon and report from the CED um, with a, a prominent keynote speaker from uh, that, that one's at Lewis University. Um, lots in the pipeline, nothing solid. We want to report on right now, so end a report. Thank you. Uh, we'll move on to uh, building services, Trustee Horn. Yes, um, we have some building going on in town, which I think is good, so that keeps our building department busy. Uh, Ferrucci Builders completed a project uh, at uh, 25924 Derby, I believe it's Derby Drive, uh, and uh, Dr. Paul Sheets is making progress with his um, building out on the highway on 50. Uh, they did the pre-pour for concrete, which is complete and revised plans received. Uh, Amazon phase two is uh, moving along as scheduled and they should be receiving what is called the temporary final next week. Uh, code enforcement is staying on top of grass and resident complaints and is working to get signs removed for businesses that are no longer in business. And then uh, Delaney Builders is waiting on a construction loan to be able to move forward there, with their project. And Seamus Builders has his house uh, under roof. So we have uh, quite a few building projects going on. Let's hope that continues. End of report. Thank you very much, Trustee Horn. A public safety, Trustee Raisin. Um, so I got a couple of things. Recent investigations and contacts with the Cree Police Department and Dyer po Indiana Police Department have led to several suspects being identified in the South Suburban car burglaries. Following several interviews, the burglary numbers have dropped dramatically in the area. Rest arrests are pending. Also, the addition of three experienced police officers to our part-time roster will greatly assist the Moni Police Department with upcoming Amazon traffic concerns. We are also hoping these additional officers will give us more consistent staffing for the afternoon shift which has had an increase in calls for, for service this summer. End of report. Thank you very much. We move on to the attorney's report. Larry? Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I have one item for the board's consideration. Uh, if the board recalls, we entered into a redevelopment agreement with uh, Dr. Sheets for the property in Governor's Highway. Uh, he has entered into a loan agreement with uh, First Community Bank. Uh, as part of the agreement, they're asking that he assign his uh, developer's note over to the bank as collateral. Uh, what they've asked us to do is acknowledge that. It's really, from our standpoint, there's no liability. We just make the payment to uh, the bank as opposed to Dr. Sheets. It's uh, extra collateral for the bank. We need the mayor's uh, signature on this, acknowledging uh, said uh, assignment of the developer's note. Therefore, it's up for the board to do. Any discussion on this? Could I have a motion, please, to approve this? I'll second. make the motion. I'll second. Okay. The motion is second. Any discussion? If not, roll call, please. Trustee Racing? Yes. Trustee Blue? Yes. Trustee Gray? Yes. Trustee Holston? Yes. Trustee Horn? Yes. yes. Trustee Vincent? Yes. yes. Okay, we'll move on to uh, old business. Any old business anyone wants to bring up? Um, I just have one thing. Any news on one where you're going to be getting an email director or if that's being posted anytime soon? I have a lot of uh, concerns from our email team. I can answer that too, maybe. Okay. I mean, you know, there's so much on our plate. We know that. That's on our list. And that'll happen soon. Very soon. Okay. In fact, I talked to some of the email people and thanked them for their due diligence out there during the during the test. So uh, that's uh, on our schedule. I'll say it that way. Okay. Yeah, we got a team with no leadership over there, right? Now. You're right. And I let them know that that's that'll be an open thing for any of them to. They want to uh, fill out some papers to be that position. Right. Yeah. Do you have any idea, David, when we might post it? 
I don't have a, a, a timeline on that, but uh, it, it's very short-lived. Uh, we've also put out the information, the word, if you will, that a posting will be forthcoming. So uh, I know that DJ has talked to several people. Uh, I've spoken with uh, Chief Neeland of the Fire Department and uh, asked them to spread the word and to keep their eyes posted on our website uh, as that gets done. In the meantime, I am uh, reviewing the uh, job description uh, for that position just to be sure that it, it meets uh, um, the necessary uh, qualifications uh, slash uh, a skill set that is, uh, would be required for that. And I will be reviewing that with DJ as he is also a member of EMA. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the ranking uh, person on that team at this point. So, very short time here. Thank you. Any other old business? If not, I'll move on to new business. Any new business? I have um, several uh, items. The, um, we formed a committee to review the um, crime-free crime -free rental ordinance. Uh, the committee comprises our building commissioner, Mike Johnson, our chief colonel, uh, Trustee Horn, and it's chaired by myself. Uh, this is to review the ordinance um, to, um, with regards to its purpose and whether we're ready as a village to implement it because there's a lot of pieces involved. We did have one meeting, I have sent the minutes to Michelle and our second meeting is going to be on the 2nd of October and that will, that will be posted appropriately. The second item is um, the IML Annual Conference has a student track and um, they're inviting students who are interested in um, working in local government and uh, are studying for uh, studying a political track of any kind. They're interested in students to join them for one day. Uh, it's a really exciting opportunity. It's one day downtown on Friday, September the 22nd. Uh, the mayor and some of the trustees uh, offered to uh, pay for uh, any money students who want to take them up on that uh, one day track. The, the fee is $25 and the mayor and some of the trustees said they would cover that for any of the, um, the students that come forward um, to do that. So it's next Friday the 22nd. Uh, it has been posted. We put it out to Governor's State, to Prairie's. Uh, is it Prairie State College? I've also shared that with the uh, school board president of Crete Army and the superintendent and the assistant superintendent for uh, graduating seniors who might be interested also. Uh, so if you do know anybody, if the public knows anybody, please contact the village or contact myself. I'd be happy to help them facilitate that. Thank you. Any other new business? Yes. Uh, just uh, want to communicate to the board and to the public that, uh, for the record, all all committee meetings are being posted on the village hall uh, window as well as the marquee, and now on the web page as well. Um, of course, board meetings are published the same way, and in addition, the agendas are published as well. But uh, there was some question about how we were going to post these, and I want everybody to understand how they're being posted. Thank you very much, Trustee Winston. Any other new business? If not, uh, open to the public, not agenda items. Any comments you want to make or questions? Ken Vesica from uh, 5824 Roosevelt. <coughs> Do we have a commitment date of any kind on uh, the, the work being done on Egyptian Trail? I, I know that they're diligently working, and I know you're paying them, but I'm saying, where's the end? Do we have any, any idea for a commitment? Yeah, we, we have said, uh, uh, don't misunderstand what I'm going to say, please. Uh, this year, we're, we're saying before winter even, okay? It should be completed, okay? Completed. Okay. You and I are both excited about that, okay? <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Actually, I, I was just reminded there are three projects there, so not just one. Any other comments from the public or anyone? We're all the public. 
If not, uh, we do have some business in executive session. So I need a motion to move into executive session. Okay. Uh, this is for uh, purchase of uh, lease of real estate and employment of specific individual. Larry, if I may, is Go ahead, Larry. Larry two. always wondered how uh, to make sure that we follow it legally, which uh, uh, we appreciate. Section 2C5 and Section 2C1. Okay. You want that said too? Yeah. Okay. No, no, that's fine. Uh, could I have a motion to move into executive session? We have a motion. Yes. Second. Yes. Yeah. Trustee Vincent? Yes. Trustee Blue? Yes. Trustee Gray? Yes. Trustee Holston? Yes. Trustee Horn? Yes. Trustee Racy? Yes. Okay, we're going to go into executive session right now.